Sorry, didn't see that. So, I heard a lot of you guys are having a tough time getting in your lean gains on a budget. Well, guess what? Today, I'm gonna be showing you a grocery shopping list for only $50. Protein, carbs, everything, so that you're gonna be able to gain as much muscle as you need so that you can build your gains on a budget. Let's get straight into it. All right, we're gonna start this off here by going into the grocery store. I'm grabbing myself some bananas, good source of carbohydrates, really, really cheap as well. Next, the bread. I like my sandwiches. They're really simple to make throughout the day. I don't got a lot of time. Then, we're getting into the rice. The reason I love rice, if you got a tiger cooker, which is a phenomenal rice cooker from some part in Asia there, you have ready rice all day. Next, we're grabbing some peanut butter. This is just a great source of calories right here. Next, we're getting the ground beef. I opted for the lean ground beef. It is a little bit cheaper here. Cook it a little bit more, you can get rid of more of that fat. We're on a budget. Then the next budget meat we're gonna get, pork chops, baby. Next, to make all of our cooking super easy, spaghetti. I love spaghetti, pasta, because you can just cook a ton of it at once, and you've got dinner, or if you wanna eat it for lunch, for like the next few days. Canned tuna, I'm telling you, when I was dead broke, I'm talking making like $40 a week starting Barbarian Body, I would eat canned tuna damn near every single day. One to two cans, I have between 20 to 26 grams of protein per can. Obviously, we're going in for the eggs right here. Quality, cheap source of protein. Again, if you don't have that much time to cook, you can actually throw all of those into like a pot, boil them up, and you don't even have to watch it. 20 minutes, you got 12 eggs ready to go. Sriracha sauce because, look at those curls. That's nice. See those veins popping? That was a really heavy basket because like, if you're gonna have all this food, you need hot sauce. Make it taste good because you just need it, you just need it. Here we are at the checkout, cool $50, perfectly right on the dot. Now remember, this is in Canadian currency right here, so there was a little bit extra room in the budget. You will see me cover that a little bit later in the video as I did grab a couple of more items, but yeah, we're doing pretty good here. Have you ever dreamed of fitting a truly AAA quality game in your pocket? Well guess what, now you can with Raid Shadow Legends. With 500 champions to collect, each with their own skill tree and millions of different artifacts, no two characters will ever be the same. Dude, that's literally trillions of ways to build your team. Crazy depth and endless strategies that you can apply. So you get to pick your favorite champions, jump into an incredibly immersive map, go through different levels of challenges to beat out the other team and duel it out with one of the best, most in-depth 3D experience you've been yet to see. Raid just released the Artifact Forge, where you can save time and craft artifacts directly, as well as a whole new advanced quest system with amazing rewards. And that's not all. They'll also be bringing some amazing new champions and they're developing the amazing looking Doom Tower as we speak, which I'm super excited about. Make sure you're quick, as using my link in the description, every new player will get you an exclusive welcome pack that contains 100,000 silver, one energy refill, 10 mystery shards, and a free champion slasher. Look at this champion that they're giving away for free. You'll find your extra rewards here in your inbox for the next 30 days only. Again, link will be in the description. Thanks so much to Raid Shadow legends for sponsoring today's video here's an overview of everything that we got from the grocery store right there sitting pretty um it's it's a high amount of carbohydrates high amount of protein this stuff's gonna be simple let's get into actually cooking the spaghetti right here slam that on the countertop bust the spaghettis open toss them in the pot as you can see that made a huge mess i probably shouldn't have been so reckless with that there pour out the ground beef you always wanna strain this stuff. Now I do recommend, you should probably put like a pot below that so you can collect the fat because if you do let that go down your drain the way I did right there, you may get a clog. So try and run the water down as soon as possible. Next, we're mixing in all of the spaghetti sauce. Now it was cheap, but it came out tasting pretty dang good. I think that can there was like $1.27. Mixing up the noodles right here, straining everything out. I was hungry just cooking this. I'm actually hungry looking at this now. Right here, you smell that. That's the good spaghetti with a little bit of a spill right there. Whoops, we'll clean that later. Next, we're getting into the peanut butter and banana sandwiches right here. I've loved these as a kid. Great source of carbohydrates. Great way to have like a snack throughout the day too. You make a bunch of them, toss them in the fridge, throw them in those sandwich bags. You got good high sources of calories throughout the day. You can just grab it a moment's notice. Next on deck for the sandwiches, we're going with the tuna sandwiches. Mix it with some mayonnaise. I know you got mayonnaise in your fridge. I didn't include that in the budget because it, who doesn't have a can of mayonnaise in their fridge? 
also mixed it with the sriracha. That, I've never done that before. That was my first time trying it. Flavor was A1, highly recommend. Next, for some of the breakfast, we're getting into the hash browns there. Just a great, simple way to get in more calories. Right here, mixing up all those eggs, clean. I only left in one shell piece in this mixture. Even though I was slamming these like a barbarian, I was pretty good at that. Next, you're gonna go ahead and mix these things up. Get in your sriracha sauce right there as well for that flavoring. It just makes it taste so much better. Trust me on that. If you've got your salt, you got your pepper. Again, I include that in this you know, shopping list. You obviously have salt and pepper. If you don't, that's a you problem. That's not a me problem and you need to address that. So there's those eggs that came out good. Now here's a cool thing. You can either eat all the eggs right there if you want, or mix them up, put them in a Tupperware, eat them the next day, put them in the microwave. It sounds gross, I've done it. It actually tastes the same. Next, we're cooking up the pork chops here. We mixed in some of that cheap barbecue sauce, which actually wasn't too bad, and obviously with some sriracha. Again, we got the salt, we got the pepper. I think there's a bit of garlic pepper in there too. Mix them up, toss them on your grill, cook them properly. Now here we're moving into the rice. The rice, it's simple. You see, that's the tiger cooker in the back, straight from Asia, it's quality. You wanna cook rice? Get an Asian rice cooker, don't get a Black & Decker one. Those things are trash. You have rice ready at all times. And boom, baby, look at that. Look at all that food right there. High quality, high protein, super easy to make, $50 budget. It tastes so good too. Here's some of the extra ingredients here. Three extra cans of tuna, two extra cartons of eggs, and uh, that totaled our $50 USD budget right there. So that right there is a week's worth of food for $50, pretty much Canadian. And not only that, we got hella ingredients still available. Peanut butter, tuna, noodles, more bread, more meat, more eggs. But this is an example of what you're able to do if you wanna put that muscle mass on, this is an example.